Hey, what's up, Internet? So, this is a update to uh, a ROM review video I did. This is for Liquid Smooth 3.0. And uh, they just had a March 26th uh, release update for this ROM. And uh, so, I figured uh, after flashing it, I really didn't go too much in depth with the ROM itself. I just pretty much flashed it onto my phone, went through like a quick skim through it, and then ended the video. So, this one I'm pretty much going to go about the features what makes it pretty good in my opinion okay so one of the biggest things that I like about it is this tabs right here uh, which is basically like whatever's in your notification like you see like it has like one application updated speaker boost is on advanced task killers on you could access it from right there and let's clear up some RAM and there's the home screen but let's just go back to the lock screen real quick Oh, look at my little phone has an ugly scar across it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, you can easily access it. I really like that. Um, it does the same thing with like text messages too, but it uh, doesn't really show too much. And I don't have this phone activated, so I can't test out text messaging and see what it would look like right here. Only assuming I'll probably just tell you like who texts you and you know what time the text came in and the date, but not really tell you exactly until like you know you click it and then it will tell you so um, anyways uh, the launcher is just like every other launcher for any aftermarket um, KitKat ROM so you don't get to have access to the Google Now page um, so you might as well just download the Google Now launcher now um, I was surprised that that actually worked a lot of people were saying that the Google Now launcher couldn't be used on anything that was non-Nexus and um, but I, I believe a lot of the source codes for these uh, KitKat ROMs come from the Nexus 5 uh, people who've pretty much torn that phone apart as soon as it was released last year and uh, that's where a lot of it comes from so it allowed me to apply this I'm not sure that's just what people are saying I've installed it on my Galaxy S2 using um, different ROMs and I don't know but okay yeah um, one thing I did find out was strange is the camera the camera issue, it, it did have a camera issue. I'm going to talk about it right now real quick. Um, so you could take, let's say, uh, let's take photos of my comforter. Okay, let's go to that. Everything's fine there. Um, this is a problem. Okay, so I was video recording. As you guys can see. And, uh, let's see. I was checking out all the updates and basically giving you guys a video on the updates. So. Okay, so everything works pretty much okay with that. But when you record, uh, let's see, right here. Now you got an issue, and this is uh, in portrait mode, and it just it has those blurry lines. So there is an issue with the camera. I'm actually gonna test it out, see maybe if I use like you know the um, the Photosphere camera if that'll fix that problem. It did for for other um, other KitKat ROMs that that were claiming to have uh, camera problems. Um, getting the Photosphere camera actually worked and alleviated a lot of those uh, bugs and stuff like that so um, other than that I, I still say it's it's pretty fast uh, I do like how it works um, signing into Google Plus right now because I just downloaded it one other issue that I did have was when uh, downloading um, I guess downloading applications and stuff like that it uh, it, it showed me that my internal storage was completely like full which I thought was weird because I only downloaded a few apps and then um, anyway so what I did to alleviate that problem technically was I um, rebooted the phone and all of a sudden like like all my internal space like came back so I like that little comic it's pretty cool yeah so I mean I mean I don't I don't know it it, it, it did say in the the forum post that that was going to be an issue. It really didn't talk, or, or at least I didn't see. Sorry, I'm getting like tongue tied there. <laughs> but I didn't see uh, anything that talked about um, 
like a fix for it or whatever but I can tell you right now if you run into that problem just reboot your phone and you should be okay and uh, yeah so anyways guys yeah that's just a quick update to the liquid smooth ROM sorry this video is kind of cheesy or whatever it's just um, kind of tired I had a long day and uh, yeah but I still wanted to make this video uh, so yeah anyways liquid smooth 3.0 guys um, which is based off of KitKat 4.4.2 uh, you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section of this video, or uh, there's a community for the HTC Evo V 4G slash 3D. You guys can join that if you guys want to. It's in Google+. And, um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up if uh, it, you know, was kind of informative. Like, well, not like, but, yeah, thumbs up is like. Blah. See, guys, I'm so out of it right now. Uh, <laughs> if you're new to this video, guys, my other videos are actually better than this one, but yes, go ahead and subscribe, check out my other videos, uh, past, present, and future, and, uh, yes, thank you so much for taking time to watch this, you guys have a great weekend.